Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Dark Master 15 Plays Scholar's Squadrons. Well, I think I flubbed the name on that. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I, in case anybody's noticed that I haven't mentioned, made any mention of the Mandalorian in the last episode, it's because, um, at the time of recording, it hadn't come out yet. In this episode, at the time of recording this episode, it has... And I can say it's a really good, it, it started off really good. I'm not going to go into too much detail, nor am I going to ever probably mention it in any of my other episodes. I just figured in this one I should. But uh, it's definitely a great start, you know. But getting back to the t story at hand here, we um, just helped to, we just finished uh, the mission with the Empire in which we were supposed to find a lead on the location of Project Starhawk. And despite the interference by a overzealous Imperial officer, we seem to have gotten close. And now, um, Vanguard Squadron, like, I guess the New Republic as a whole, is feeling like very tense about it. Let's start with Frisk and see his thoughts. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosnian Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a bizarre game planned for them later, to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. I feel like Bosk's intuition is unca- Bosk. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm making the stereotype all Trandoshans look alike, but um, Frisk's intuition is like uncanny. It's like how could he suspect, you know? But uh, that speculation out of the way. Let's get to the briefing and see what's going on. You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Hmm. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. I don't like the implications of that. Like, that, that just seems really sus. Could be foreshadowing a sacrifice? Hope not, but... Settle, folks. The commander's waiting. Alright, let's not keep him waiting, then. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselis. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard. I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselis and bomb it to oblivion. 
A corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, okay. destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Well, that sounds pretty elaborate. Alright, so let's do a quick sweep of the room here. Everyone except... Everyone except the Commander and Grace are here with conversation points. So let's start with Javes. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. Hmm. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. Hmm. It may interesting how um, Captain Carroll started out as a street urchin. Methinks the wrong side picked her up first. But then again, I think the rebels were too busy fighting the fighting against the Empire to notice that she'd been taken up by them. That aside, though, let's speak with Grace. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost Imperial. Yeah, you know a little something about that, wouldn't you? I know you? the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sure, Grace. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the Commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. I'm in a way, though, given her background, I... I I wouldn't be surprised that she has a little bit of respect for certain Imperial tactics. Um, that aside, let's go back to the hangar. Let's see if anybody else needs to chat. And looks like it's just Keo for now. Make sure it's just her. Yeah, I realized um, sometime before that you could actually 360 in the hangar, which is crazy. But uh, let's speak with Keo now. When Javes talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Now, you guys are free to agree with me on this, but I feel like Kyo could definitely be or force attuned. You know, not not entirely, not as susceptibly, not essentially force sensitive, but like attuned with the force, because like she she has like. Her empathy levels are like off the charts, I'd say. Also, um, between Lyndon and Teresa, I really feel like one wanted the other to like stay, you know? Or like in Lyndon's case, he wanted Teresa to follow him, but she didn't. And now it's like. It's guilt. But enough of that. Let's, um. Prepare for launch here. Y wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. Hmm. Okay. Looks like primary weapons, standard laser cannon, Goliath missile, proton bomb, and particle burst. Those are all our active components, and passives are standard hull, standard deflector, and standard engine. I see we can edit the loadout, so let's see what we can change. Uh, 
Not much really, it looks like. So, group X guy did rotary cannon. Huh. This rotary cannon seems pretty interesting. It's got auto aim. That'll be fun. Indeed. All right. It doesn't look like we can change up our auxiliary components much, so let's focus on the hull. Uh, increase shields, decrease hull integrity. Useful because shields regenerate while hull integrity doesn't. Hmm. I feel like taking a risk. And then, uh... I'll take quite a if it looks like I'm going a little too fast, um, I've actually like played a little bit offline, I mean online, and I've seen certain components that fit my fancy, so I'm just using those. Uh, yeah, these, these seem alright here. Alright, max hull, max shields. Okay. A little less health than I'd like, but. Hopefully the shields make up for it. Let's get started on the mission now. Oh man. Now if you guys read the little blurb for the Y-Bomber, you know that it's re been repurposed by the Rebels since the Republic used the first. Dropping on new Republic comms. Do you think Teresa Carroll overheard What's everything? She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure. Still, better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Frisk's hiding something. Temperance, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. Yes, ma'am. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Yeah, they did. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing, the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. Yep. And he thinks it has something to do with the relationship between Carol and um, Javes. But we won't know about that until like the next part of it, right? So let's just get through this mission and see what we can find out later. You think the Empire built this listening post just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. Ouch. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? Alright, following in behind this. Just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Yeah. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go. Five, give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. Let's do it. It's bombs away. Nice bombing. What? It's a raid. Alert tight patrols. Nicely done. You're a natural five. No, 
Thank you. Oh god. We needed that dish. I felt that from here. Not bad, five. Seems they've locked up. I don't care if we're under attack. Get the broadcast system up so I can call for help. Yeah, you ain't calling for help, buddy. Not on my watch. Oh god. Spaced out for a second. <laughs> I'm on the way. My yeah, I know. These guys are ripping through my shields, too. Alright. Gotta keep going. Why do I feel like I'm going so slow? Well, then again, I'm flying a bomber. Precision bombing. Photon bombs are excellent weapons against hardened targets like these thermoregulators. Alright, so basically you have to be facing a top side away from the thermal detonators in order for this to work. So let's give that a try here. Oh, I didn't think it worked. I don't think that worked. Let's try with the next one and we'll come back. There we go. Ah, no! I overshot! Alright. I know, I'm doing this so unorthodox. Oh, I got it, okay. 
I thought I didn't work. Didn't work. Ah, oh, dang it. Man, these bombers are so slow and hard to control. Come on! I was really so good there. All right, the one more run. Gunny, where you at? I'm almost dead, girl. Thank you. There you go. That'll restock your explosives. All right. Let's get back to. be able to destroy them before This is not the right for them. Just finish off the thermal regulators. 
Yeah. Enemies locked on. Come on, five. I want to see you do this. Don't worry. I'll get it done. Starting to hate this mission. When you get to the core, start dropping bombs and do not stop. You won't have much time to get out once the core explodes, so be ready to fly fast. Drop your bombs, five. That's it. No! Ah, oh, come on! the next step, but I digress. Their listening post destroyed, the Imperial hunt for the Nadiri dockyards is stalled, and Teresa Carroll will be more inclined to believe Lyndon J's message. It's time to stop for good. Yeah, I hope so. Also, I think this mission just cemented my dislike of the Y bombers, the Y wings. Like, if it's if it's not anything other than um, an A wing or an X wing, I don't care. I know tech. Technically, we did support. We learned some about the support class and uh. In the last up in the last mission, so I guess that counts for both the U, U wing as the U um yeah the U wing I'm sorry I, I'm thinking between I'm th keep thinking that the U wing is actually the B wing I don't know why but uh yeah it doesn't matter I'm never playing a Y wing again. Alright, so looks like um, in the next episode we get to speak with Frisk and Gunny. And we'll get to learn what this next step 
But for now, I'm going to call it here. This has been Darkmaster15, your pilot extraordinaire. Haha, <laughs> feel free to laugh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this has been Darkmaster15, and I will see you guys in the next one. You have a good one.